Hi, I'm Kipling, and I'm at Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory. And I've got a friend here to introduce to you. This is one of our walking sticks. Walking sticks are fascinating creatures that spend their entire life hiding in the trees. And they look so much like a stick that you walk by them almost every day and never really notice them. And that's what they want. They're really hiding from birds and other predators that might want to eat them. They're so good at hiding that their scientific name Phasmatidia actually means ghost in the Latin because you never really see them. Now they like to live in forests because they're plant eaters. And if you look at their face, they look kind of scary. But that really elaborate mouth is just to chew on plants like fig leaves. Here in the conservatory, we feed them mostly on our fig leaves. But to mix up their diet every now and again, we give them some lettuce as well. Now because they like to eat leaves, and they want to spend most of their life hiding, they don't move around too much. And so when they lay their eggs, all the eggs could end up in a pile, and you have all these stick bugs in one area. And they don't really want that. They want to disperse their species. So these animals have figured out a way to hire movers to do the job for them. And the movers in question are ants. Now the eggs are so tiny, they're really hard to see. But I sort of made a fake egg here, so you can see what they look like. They're mostly oval, and they've got this little uh, knob on the top called the capitula. And this knob is filled with lipids and some other proteins and some really good stuff for ants. And they come along, pick up the egg, they carry it back to their colony, and they rip off the capitula and they feed it to their larva, their young. And then they take the egg and they throw that in their compost pile. When it hatches, the young stick bugs have now been dispersed a long way away from their mom. The other really neat thing about the way they reproduce is they don't really need males. They can reproduce through a process called parthenogenesis. It's essentially like cloning. And so the eggs that this female lays will be an exact copy of her. So walking sticks have been found worldwide. We have one species that lives here in Ontario, and it will grow to be about three and a half inches long. But the biggest ones in the world will grow longer than like your forearm. The record is over a meter long with their legs stretched out. Pretty impressive. 